Today I'm going to show you how to get a very nice screensaver. I know, it, it, it's pretty basic, but I'm getting you a screensaver. So go to the first link in the description and you will see this page. So how do we install and use a screensaver? Well, first off, you need to actually find a screensaver, believe it or not. Now, find something that you like. I am going to look at Flick Low, Flip Clock, Underwater. Hyperscape and Helios. Now you can get the OG Windows ones like 3D pipes. You can get these super cool fancy HUD ones if you want. Choose whatever the gosh darn heck you want. Now once you find something you like, just click the download button next to it. If you went a little gung-ho like me and downloaded a whole bunch of screensavers because you can't make any single decision with any sort of brain power, uh, there are two different types of file types that you'll get in your download. You'll get a exe file or you'll get a zip file. I'm going to focus on the zip file first and then move on over to the exe file. So I downloaded Flick Low screen saver thing. You just got to open it up and you will see the screen saver file. You just need to click on it and drag it into your downloads. Once you go back to your downloads, you will see Flick Low and it'll show you a little preview. All you need to do is click on it, right click it, and click install. And now when you do that, it'll pop up with screen saver settings and you can make it so that it waits a minute, waits five minutes. You just pick the time, it's not that difficult. And you can also change a couple settings if you want. For flick low settings, you have a little bit of things you can change, 24 hour clock, size, and the brightness. Just muck around, this will change with every different screensaver. But if you wanna see it, click the preview button and you will be able to see the fruits of your labor after pressing preview. Now you have to let your mouse go. If you move it slightly like I do with my Parkinson's, then it will go back to normal windows. So I'll give your mouse a little nudge and it will go back to normal. Now, how do we install the exe version of a screensaver? Double click on the exe file, press yes if that pops up, press next, press accept the license agreement, press next again, and press install. Then press next, then press finish. I'm running out of breath. But once you do that, you need to press the Windows key and type in screen space saver and press enter. Once you do that, it'll open up this screen saver thing. You just need to click the drop down and click retro sci-fi. Then you can click apply and it will apply it. And you could preview, pre pre you could preview it if you want. So to prevent myself from having an existential crisis, I'm gonna show you a couple more screen savers. So at least I can feel good about myself when I upload this video. So Helios, if you right click it and click test, you'll notice it looks pretty fancy bobancy. The, the animation speaks for itself. Stuff spins around, it looks cool. Y you basically just don't think anymore. You're just staring at this little bubble floating around. Now it'll, it'll keep on going, fill up the whole screen. And you'll be thinking to yourself, why am I watching a video of a dude watching screensavers? But that's just kind of the way it goes. Now we have Hyperscape, which is another one, if you test it. This one starts off a little weird, but now you feel like you're flying the Millennium Falcon, if you know what that is, through a whole bunch of spacey stuff with a lot of colors. Now, basically, the whole point of this video is you just pick something you like. You pick a screensaver. Someone asked for this somewhere, and I'm showing you. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. So how do you uninstall these? Well, it's pretty basic. If you have any of these specific ones that are not exe files, you just press the delete button and they kind of disappear. If you have the EXE ones, you have to go to the start menu, click add or remove programs, search for whatever it was called. So this one was retro something. Search that up, click on install, press on install, press yes, press yes again, and it'll do it all for you. Basically just press yes so it continues on installing. Then to change your screensaver, back to the OG black, press the windows key, type in screen space saver, then press the enter key. And all you need to do is make sure it says none. And once it's at none, just press apply. And you don't have a screensaver anymore, sweetheart. Yeah, then that's actually it. That, that's literally the whole video. I hope it helped.